Last summer, surface warfare officers learned about an exciting new opportunity for small unit leadership on a cutting edge platform in the Navy's Coastal Riverine Force. For the first time ever, surface warfare officers tracking to successfully complete their division officer tours can compete for command at sea billets on the Mark VI. Additionally, post department head surface warfare officers screening for early command can now serve as Mark VI company commanders, commanding three of the boats. The first screening board is complete and the first officers have been selected. Let's head to the fleet to meet the first surface warfare officers who will soon embark on a training pipeline, putting them one step closer to assuming Mark VI command. I'm Lieutenant Junior Grade Matt Harvey from Oakboro, North Carolina. Currently serving as a fire control officer on Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Oscar Austin in Norfolk, Virginia. I've been selected to serve as one of the Navy's new Mark VI patrol boat commanders. The reason I pursued this unique opportunity is because I saw the chance to remain operational while I continue serving at sea. The Mark VI patrol boat also supports many of the missionaries I'm interested in. I'm looking forward to working with the Riverine Squadron and the Navy Expeditionary Combat Command. I'm Lieutenant Andy Bergstrom from Dallas, Texas. I'm currently the navigator on USS Lake Erie here in San Diego. I've recently selected to be commanding officer of the Navy's new Mark VI patrol craft. The reason I competed for this opportunity was the unique chance to lead sailors after just two division officer tours, as well as the high capabilities of the craft itself and the proficiency of the crew. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Commander Jorge Roldan, originally from Guatemala City, Guatemala. Currently, I'm the main propulsion assistant on USS John C. Stennis. I've been selected uh, for early command as the Navy's first Mark VI boat company commander. Small boats uh, and the Riverine Force uh, have an extensive heritage in U.S. Naval history. I am superbly honored uh, to be chosen to serve my nation in this leadership role and look forward to the exciting challenges uh, of command at sea. Congratulations on your selection and the best to you as you embark on this new professional journey. 